All right guys, 2010 Honda Civic. This is a two door, four cylinder. And we're gonna be replacing the front brake pads. All right guys, so what we'll do is, let me set up my light right here. All right, before anything, let me show you what we're gonna need, all right? So to begin with, we're gonna need tools such as these that I'm about to show you right now, all right? So you're gonna need a ratchet or a wrench with the number 12. You're gonna need a number, I'm sorry, not a number. A uh, flathead screwdriver or a pry bar. You need a C clamp or a compressed tool to compress the piston, such as this. And then, of course, we have the brake pads up here sitting with the hardware kit right here. All right, and uh, what we'll do is we're gonna take the camera back here first. I'll put my light up here. All right, we're gonna remove the number 12 in the bottom here, all right, guys. So just the bottom, number 12, if you're only replacing a brake pad. All right, there you go. Got it off. So the number 12 comes out. And after that, what you can do is, you can use a flat hand screwdriver and just pry this open. If you have a pry bar, use a pry bar and this caliper should just go up just like this. As you can see, it just goes up. All right, so what I'll do next is, let me aim my camera up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna take out the brake pads. You see they're roaring out almost to the end. They're gonna hit that sensor. If you're hearing a screech like that, it's your sensor touching. All right, and we'll remove the outside brake pad. And then what we'll do is, We'll remove this hardware kit. Simple. Same thing in the bottom. All right, guys. And I forgot one thing. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna get a, go get a small wire brush, and I'll be right back. We're gonna wire brush this clean, and then install the new hardware. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do here is take the wire brush, clean the surface. If you need to remove the bracket, remove it, it's up to you. But you shouldn't have to. If it looks really bad, then you need to remove it. All right guys, so I'm gonna go get the hardware kit. And here it comes, this is the hardware kit. So all you do is, you just stick this in there and these two little teeth here, they should guide it in a proper place. There you go, one, and then I'll put the second one in. And you should be able to twist this rotor and there should be no scrape, all right? Next, what I'll do is, I'll take my brake pad. Brake pad should go in firmly, just like that. If you need to hit this to bang this in, no good, all right? Then you need to file the area here. File it, grind it a little bit here on the edges if you need to, and get that in there, all right? And then the second brake pad should go in easily also. All right, guys, this is the same procedure for the opposite end. You might not see it in the video because I'm only going to be showing you one side. All right, guys, I have that in. What I'll do next is uh, we're going to grease these pins up. I'm going to come right back. This seems like it's jammed up a little bit. I need to get this out of there. And it moves, but it's stiff, all right? If it wiggles a little bit. So what you need to do is bring that out, clean it up. And what, let me just uh, continue this. It's not supposed to be like that. But what you can do is uh, take a pry bar and hit it with the hammer in the back end. All right, be careful with that rubber boot. You see the condition of this is terrible, all right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I will grease that up also and then we'll put that back in there, right? We can't really clean inside. You can put a flat hat screwdriver, small one. I won't be showing you that in the video, but let me get one. So all you do is you stick this in there and just try to, this is just dried up grease, all right? That's all that is. 
All right, so let me come back. I'll clean this up and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, so we're back. I'll put some grease on the caliper pin right there. And then I clean this up. I put some grease on this. And now this thing should be nice and smooth. All right, you see that? Should be nice and smooth to go in and out. And make sure the rubber boot is on it. All right, guys, one more thing I want to show you guys is, but we're going to bring that camera out this time so you can see this. All right. I'm going to move my light in this direction. And there we have the brake pads installed. What we're going to do next is, well, we will put some a uh, little bit of a brake grease on this. All right, on both sides, and I'm, I mean on the inner pad on the outside. I'm not what I mean like both sides of the brake pads. You don't want it on the surface that's meeting the the rotor itself. All right, guys. So what I'll do next is we're gonna take one of the old brake pads to compress the piston in for this caliper. All right, so what I'll do is I'll take one of my old brake pads, I'll put it there, and then I'll take my compressed tool. And I'll compress that piston there, all right? That piston should go in nice and smooth, all right, guys? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this caliper and we're gonna put this caliper in. Make sure your brake line is not twisted because if it's twisted, it's gonna cause spongy pedal, brake might lock up. All right, and then we're gonna put the number 12 back in, all right guys, that's the last thing we're gonna do. And then we're done, all right guys. So the number 12 I'm putting over here now is the Final step, make sure it's nice and tight. Let me bring my camera this way so you guys can see. All right guys, you see how that twisted? I'm gonna go get a tool to hold that. Sometimes you can put a vice grip on or like number 17 and make sure you do do it. If you don't, it will stay loose, that bolt. All right guys, I'm back with the vice grip. So all I wanna do is I'm gonna lock this up and that's gonna make that caliper pin stop from moving and it's done guys. All right guys. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe if you have any questions or if you have something to ask me, please send me a message. Alright guys, thank you and bye bye.